Hey, what's up guys? Bob here for BP Fishing. Today, I just wanted to talk to everybody out there, somebody who's new into the YouTube fishing community, all that stuff, and talk about a couple must-have accessories um, that you'll need while you're out there fishing, trying to record everything. Now, this isn't uh, nothing set in stone. This is just what I've accumulated uh, over this season. I just started posting videos on YouTube, and here's a few key things that I figured I would uh, share with you guys. That way you kind of know what you're getting into um, while you're doing it. Uh, first off, main thing that I use obviously is a GoPro. This one's a GoPro 7. I also have a GoPro Hero Session down here um, that I use to get all different types of uh, video. So here's the uh, GoPro Session. I don't think they make these anymore, but I was able to pick one up refurbished off of Amazon for, for pretty cheap. So I uh, got to have some sort of a camera, something, if you want to capture it. I know some guys do it on their cell phone as well, which is perfectly fine. But you've got to have some sort of a camera. I'm actually going to be talking about uh, using GoPros and, and things like that uh, because that's what I use. One of the key things that I found on your GoPro, uh, accessory-wise, is to get the screen protectors. So there's actually a screen protector that goes on to here, and you can buy a screen protector that goes on the back. If you look really closely, let me turn on my other camera here real quick. Um, you could see there's a nick actually, you know, in the other end of the uh, camera here. So right there at the lens, there's a nick. Um, that's just the screen protector that was damaged. And that stuff happens, you know, when you're going from... Uh, you know, different terrains and, and all sorts of things. Um, anything can happen with your GoPro. You could drop it, whatever. Uh, I'd say number one is protect the screens because I'm sure that's a piece that's going to be expensive to replace. Um, another thing, you know, this right here is the setup for the head camera. You know, actually you can mount it on your head like that and do some recording, uh, which I see tons of guys doing that. Or the other option is the chest protector chest protector or at least the uh, the chest mount um, to go mount your camera on as well so that that can mount on your your chest or your stomach or wherever you see fit um, and this one's actually a GoPro brand um, you can get the the knockoff Japanese ones or Chinese ones or whatever they are um, you can find them on Amazon for pretty cheap but I think that's one major accessory um, that you need uh, if you're gonna be out there either the one on the head or the one on the chest. I have found in cold weather, uh, when I've got a big jacket and stuff like that, I don't like to use the chest one, just for the fact that it's bulky enough as it is. Now you're strapping a camera to it, and if you move your jacket or something like that, there's a possibility that um, the camera's gonna shift with it. So I put my stocking cap on, you know, my warm weather, or my cold weather hat, and uh, wanna be using the head mount uh, during the cold weather. So another thing that that I found that was frustrating about the GoPro is the battery life. So the battery life, they only last about an hour. Uh, and that's on without using Wi-Fi or any of that stuff. So uh, battery life is not very strong. So what I found was awesome was another GoPro accessory, which is a dual charger. So you can buy it. Um, when I bought my GoPro, I bought an extra battery as it was. Um, but when you buy this dual charger, um, you can buy it with a battery. And so now I've actually got three batteries, so that's three hours of record time. But you say, well, three hours isn't a lot. I go out there fishing for six, seven, eight hours, whatever, sometimes. That's where the final piece of this comes into play, which is a some kind of portable power bank. Uh, to me, that's been key. Uh, one of the things I found that is I can go and run an hour off of the, the camera and then after that battery dies, I can go and throw it in this dual charger, plug this into the power bank. Uh, this power bank currently is at 57% um, and it'll go and charge the batteries. You see one of them right now is charged, one of them is not charged. So it doesn't take very long to charge them. Um, so you'll, you'll never run out of battery that way, as long as you have some kind of power bank, um, to be able to do it. Uh, this one is 10,000 milliamps. Um, I can pretty much charge on it all day without a, a problem. So, 
Uh, and I actually do have another one as a backup just in case I don't charge this one all the way or I'm out an extended amount of time. Um, that way I have it uh, and I can always keep my batteries charged. Uh, if you do um, either have a secondary camera or whatever the case may be, get yourself a tripod. Uh, you could buy these little fittings right here that go uh, right on eBay. Uh, they can go in any camera mount. Uh, they're pretty cheap, cheap. It was like six bucks for three of them. Um, that way you can mount a camera on there. Uh, it's always good to have another camera for your B-roll or at least a tripod to mount your camera on if it's not on your chest or your, your head. That way you can get a little bit of a different angle. Uh, if you guys see, I've got a bunch of different angles. I do a lot of my B-roll with this one. Uh, at some point, I hope to get a uh, GoPro 8, but uh, you know, you know how that is. I, I want to buy tackle and fishing rods and reels and all that stuff uh, because I've already got stuff that works. But then again, I already have fishing gear that works too. Oh, well, I've not prioritized it, but Christmas is around the corner, so you never know what's going to happen. But uh, it's always good to have a, a backup camera and a tripod, anything like that. So I just figured I'd throw together this video super quick. Um, not too detailed, but these are some of the must-have accessories that I found I've needed this season uh, as I've transitioned from just a fisherman to a YouTube fisherman, uh, and I figured I'd pass on some of those tricks. Uh, if you guys haven't watched any of my other videos, please look right up here. There's a video sitting right there. Go ahead and uh, watch that one. Uh, on the other corner of the screen here, there's a subscribe button. Hit that if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon.